Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com. In this video, we are going to look at how you can insert a QR code into your Word documents. Now we're going to start by going to the Insert tab and over to your Add-ins area, which has only been out for a couple of versions now of Office. So unless you have one of the more recent versions of Word, then you may not have access to this. But what I'm going to need to do is grab one of the many really useful add-ins that you can get nowadays and seamlessly interact with your Word, your Excel and your PowerPoint documents. I'm going to click on the store because I need to go and find this QR code generator that I want to use. So I'm going to click on this store button on the insert tab and I'm going to click on the store uh, like link at the top and I'm going to search for the one that I'm interested in which is office QR and I'm going to search on those words where it will return a few suggestions for QR code generators so you can take your pick out of the ones that are provided here they're all a much of a muchness they'll all get the job done seamlessly and easily into your office documents. I'm going to choose this second one, QR for Office, as it has more stars than the one above. It has a better rating. And I'm going to add that in to my Word document. Here it goes. It's just opening up on the right hand side here. So here it is. It's now available in my add ins for future use. Little drop down, QR for Office will be there for me now. It's actually available on the right hand side right now for me to put in my first add in. And the first thing it asks me to do is to enter the URL or text I would like to encode. Now I'm going to set a URL for my own website for computergargar.com. So if anybody was to scan this QR code with a reader, it would take you to the home page of my website. So we've got HTTP, computergargar.com. So you've got a variety of options in here. It doesn't have to be a web address. It could be a secure HTTP there. It could be an email address with mail to. We've even got SMS and some other options. I'm just going to go for a typical link to my website. I have options to change the color and the background and indeed even the size of this. And also a setting for error correction, which unless you understand this kind of stuff, um, I'm just going to leave as medium and keep with a standard because I'm not really too sure I know QR code king to understand the real intensity. Obviously higher will be higher error correction. I'm not sure really what the difference is. I'm going to keep with their recommendation of a medium 15% and I'm probably just going to keep mine black and white because that's how you normally see them. Um, it's kind of a universal look and feel of QR codes. It's much in the same way that you expect hyperlinks to be blue and underlined. Sometimes if you change this stuff too much, you will confuse your users and the people who use it. Now I'm just going to insert the one I've got here. Click on my insert button and in it goes. I have myself a QR code that if it was scanned by a reader, would take you to the home page of my computergaga.com website. Now you can see it inserts it as any object, as a picture. So any word skills you have with regards to working with pictures and working with objects can apply just the same to this QR code. For example, I can resize it, I can align it, I can anchor it. I can do all the kind of stuff that you associate with objects. I can layer them. So you can work this in with your documents, especially if you're creating some kind of promotional or marketing material you know such as a leaflet or a brochure or a newsletter then this QR code can be a very lovely little touch for people to find additional information or some kind of discount or promotion that you may not have been able to squeeze into that leaflet they can use this to attain that extra more detail or to go straight to a kind of discount landing page or something for you to use very simple, you get some really great apps in Office nowadays, and it's worth mentioning that this is for Office, 
you can use the same technique to get it in your PowerPoint slides or in your Excel spreadsheets. I didn't demonstrate them because you're far less likely to use it in those environments than you are to Word, but this is just one of those awesome online office apps that you can get now. I hope you found that tutorial useful. Please check out some of my other tutorials on my YouTube channel. Come check us out at computergaga.com.